Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, we're going to unbox and review the Grogu with Armor Funko Pop, and we're going to compare it to one of the original Funko Pops. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Got a review video for you. I finally got my Grogu with the armor Funko Pop. So, of course, we are going to take him out of the box to give you an up-close look at his details. And then we're going to compare him to the original Funko Pop that's of the same style. So, yeah, Fisher, I'm going to have to put you to the side for a little bit so I can do this review. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little man, boop, we will see you in a little bit. So this Grogu Funko Pop was announced a few months ago, and it was available for pre-order in a couple of different places. I got mine from Entertainment Earth, who actually shipped it before Amazon for once. I was like really, really surprised when I got the notification the other day. But here he is in the box. He is from the Boba Fett collection, not the Mandalorian. And here are the other Funkos in that collection. I also did the review of Grogu with the Rancor, so if you missed that, definitely check that one out. But I noticed something on this. I saw other people talking about it, and when I got them, I was like, yeah, they're right. I usually try to avoid other people's reviews, but these were comments in a Facebook group, so I had no option other than to read them because I'm a moderator in that group. But yeah, let me get them out of the box so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You ready? Let's get this puppy out of the box. There he is, out of the box, guys, and yet you can probably see what I'm talking about right off the bat there. He is a lot paler green than the original Funko Pops, and his face, well, in just a minute, I'm going to put him side to side so you can see what I'm talking about, but giving him a quick look around, he's got your regular Grogu robe. The details on that are always top-notch. And when you pull his little bobbly head back, he does have Beskar armor underneath his robe. So that is the addition to that. He showed up in the Book of Boba Fett choosing the Beskar armor. Sorry, spoiler alert. But if you haven't caught up, we're less than a month away from Season 3, guys. So Season 1 and 2 of Mandalorian, and then the last 7, 8, 9, no, last three, I think, episodes of Book of Boba Fett, just make sure to watch those to catch up, because if you don't watch the Book of Boba Fett episodes, you're going to be a little bit lost. <laughs> but he is super cute, super adorable, but you gotta get really, really close to see those details on his face. Now this is the original Funko of Grogu holding the shifter knob. Give you an up-close look at him real quick. You see it, guys? He's lacking a little bit of detail. <laughs> the original ones have paint around the eyes and on the nose and mouth to kind of make his face, for lack of better words, pop. This little guy, not so much. And looking at the colors, this one, the original, is definitely a darker green. This one, you can't really see it on camera, but if you hold him up to the light, you can almost see through his head. It's almost like he's made out of the material, like the glow-in-the-dark ones, but he is not glow-in-the-dark. So, yeah, that is a little bit disappointing that, it, to me, it seems the quality has gone down on them a little bit. However, I do think he is super cute and more Grogu-like than the original ones. The original ones, it, th there was just something a little off about them to me. This little guy, he has a cuter face even though he has less details. So I'm not really disappointed in him, I just, maybe a darker green like this guy, but this type of face. Again, it's I keep looking at it up through the light, and yeah, he's like almost transparent. Or not transparent, but kind of glowy. If you put a light behind him, 
I'm sure he would shine some light through him really, really well. But he is super cute. I do love his face, and I'm really, really glad that I got him. Now, he did ship from Entertainment Earth, where I pre-ordered him on Entertainment Earth. He's $11.99. However, they are sold out of the pre-orders on there. And the next wave that they're going to get of these guys may not be until July of 2023. You can pre-order it and add him to your cart on there. And then, yeah, July is the next release for him. Good news, he is available on Amazon. Last I checked, the pre-orders on there were still available, and he's due to release around February 14th, I think on Valentine's Day. So I'll put the Amazon link in the description of the video for you. He is $12.99 on Amazon, so he's a dollar more. However, on Entertainment Earth, if you don't spend a certain amount of money, you have to pay for shipping. If you have Amazon, Amazon Prime, or if you spend over a certain amount, I think it's $25 on Amazon, you get the free shipping. If you have Prime, you get the Prime free shipping. But super cute and adorable. It's almost exactly the same Funko with a different kind of coloring job to it. This one, he's got both of his hands on the shifter knob. This one, he's got it only in one hand. But he's got that cute, cute little face, guys. I love it. These might be really cool to kind of modify and do your own paint scheme on. But super cute and adorable. So rating him on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. I still think he's a totally rad, guys. Despite the different paint job, I think they are. They're just trying to make them look a little bit cuter. I think the face on this one's a little bit harsher. I mean, it's cute. He's still our cute little green bean. But I like the face on this one a little bit better. I'm being honest, guys, <laughs> but totally rad to me. They're all totally rad. Every once in a while, we get a beyond totally rad on the Funkos, but yeah, super adorbs. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, little dudes? We'll see you later.